This simple tip works with every single golf club in your bag. And this tip will get the club running into the ball in the easiest possible way for you so you can start having some fun or if you're already having fun, some more fun out on the golf course. So I'll set these down right here. So what's this tip? Well, I wanna talk about where your hands are when you're setting up to the ball. So most golf instruction says, get in an athletic position. And it's also a position that most all the pros set up at when they're setting up to the ball. You're told to you know, get a little knee bend in there, have your chest up high, hang the arms straight down in an athletic position like you could be ready to catch a football and then go up to the ball. And so then you just go up to the ball and it's that athletic position. But I'm gonna show you why you might not wanna do that and this simple tip goes against that. So the tip is swing your arms around you. So if you set up with your arms hanging straight down, look where the club would be. Yet if I get in balance swinging my arms around me, look where the club is now. So you can see here versus here. And swinging your arms around you, which is what I do in the swing, makes golf so much easier because you don't have to worry about so many of these variables. If you start down here, you're gonna have to lift your arms. Then you can't just turn, you're gonna have to shallow and then go through the ball. But this is on one arc around you so you don't have to worry about shallowing the golf club. You don't have to worry about coming over the top because you'll be coming from the inside. And then just in general, putting the club on the ball is gonna get so much easier. But most people can hit their shorter irons because when you set up with your arms hanging down, you're setting up to lift your arms. Because if we look at this path of my arms here, if I set my hands below that path, if they stay below it, I'm gonna to wanna to turn off the ball, which is not good for striking your irons. So what most people do is they're below this natural path, so they have to lift their hands and arms, so they lift during the swing, and then now it's like, okay, do I come over the top, or do I try to shallow the club, and it's this timing and it's just really hard. But it all started at that position, setting up to the ball. But like I said, most people can get away with it with a wedge pitching wedge, nine iron, but then it just starts to get harder. Six iron, five iron, starts to get harder. So let's see if I can hit this wedge, lifting my arms. Yep, I definitely got away with it. So let's see if I can get away with a three hybrid here. Swinging fast, because if I swing slow, I can keep these elbows together and kind of stay connected, but swinging fast really shows everything. I'm gonna try to swing 80, 80%. And it, that's, it starts to get out of balance when you try to speed it up. Because if you hang your arms straight down, you're gonna have to manipulate the club at some point in the swing. So with the wedge, I could get away with it most all the time, but then you start to get to those longer clubs and it's just hard to just hit the ball solid and get everything working because you're swinging faster and it's harder to manipulate everything. So I would recommend set up for your arm's natural path so now, when I swing faster, the club's just gonna run into the ball. And I can swing way faster and have confidence that the club is gonna run into the ball. And if you can hit the ball a lot further, your scores are gonna drop tremendously. Okay, middle of the net, here we go. There it is. So the same idea works with a wedge as with the longer clubs. So you can really simplify your golf game in general because everything's gonna revolve around this one idea of just swing your arms around you. That's it. Make golf simple. Don't make it so hard. That's the tip. It works even better with the driver, probably the best with the driver. Definitely go try that out. I teach the single plane swing method of hitting a golf ball and every technique in golf, chipping, pitching, bunker, the ideas of balance of the arms, which you learn in this video, and then balance of the body turning to get the club to run into the ball in the easiest possible way. If you're interested in learning more about these single plane methods, I have a free ebook and a free mini course in the description of this video. So go check that out and that can be your starting place to get you on your single plane swing journey and simplifying golf. If you found some helpful tips in this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as that would really help me out. And I hope the rest of your day goes well.